kindest hour. At a certain time of the day, when the night hasn't yet taken its place, in the very top of warmth, this mild, gentle verse arises, arises. or when the dawn begins to cast its shadows around me in my house, and all warbles warble, cease. Warble, warble, warble. When the silence can be heard at last, a frail chord of death echoes nearby, echoes nearby, echoes nearby. And I sit alone at this very second in my reading chair. For there's a needle sheltered in the softest part of my chest. For when slightly the night arrives, its prickles move. Digging my tenderness with such graceful joy, I myself, I myself become joyful either, either, even if the night has not yet reached or crossed its deadline. Thus I stay. Thus I lay in my reading chair as a corpse full of running veins and contented for the night to come brings its moisture, and I know somewhere around the silky, silky surface, surface of male skin, male skin is finally undressed and breathes and breathes. And breathes. Comes from my window in this very minute a smell of shattered limbs alive, sweet as semen and oil from the lower parts extracted. Weightless as light. It surrounds the neighborhood of myself. As the night lends carefully its wings and covers the air with a mantle. Oh, kindest, oh, kindest hour. hour, hour.